Now, canine behavioural consultant Kelly McFarlane is back. It is really good to see you, Kelly. Uh, we are talking today about pet adoption, as there are a lot of dogs and cats in need of a home. But most people generally go for the puppies and the kittens. However, there are much older pets in need of a home, but they're missing out. Why do you think that is, Kelly? For most people, it's more of, um, you know, they, they want a new dog, they want a new, a new cat. And certainly for dogs, it's more of they feel if they get it at the very beginning when it's a young pup, then there shouldn't be any issues. And of course, they look very cute and cuddly. That's the whole point of having a puppy. And also for having a very cute kitten that gets up to all sorts of mischief. So, yes. And there's always that thought that you can train them young, that's yourself, right. etc. Yeah. So why do some of the older animals end up in rescue centres? Lots of different reasons. I mean, certainly for us, when we ended up with Zoe that was actually due to a marriage breakdown and unfortunately um, the gentleman who owned her just couldn't find anywhere to live and you know so that's quite sad especially because he didn't really want to to give her up and um, for others uh, people actually move overseas and for others it might be healthcare they just can't afford to look after the animal sadly mm. yeah which is unfortunately that's just, yeah that's the way sometimes things go don't they yeah uh, and you recently lost Zoe who we loved having on the show too Thank you. Really sorry about that yes. she was a little honey she really was yeah she she was. Um, I'll try she not she to is. cry now. Okay. So. Oh, no, she should have brought that up quick. <laughs> Moving, we're going to move along then because I know how difficult it can be. Um, an older dog or a cat, are they easy to train or will there be behaviour issues? I think the thing to remember is if you're getting them when they're older, majority of them are already trained. So you're generally not worrying about house training. You're not generally worrying about major behavioural issues unless the animal has already had a, a previous condition. So, uh, you know, for me, it's more of, um, yeah, just, you know, get them, see what happens enjoy it and if you want to teach them new tricks you definitely can do. So you can teach an old dog new yeah, tricks? Absolutely. Boom. Yeah absolutely. Now what if you already have a pet and how do you make sure that they're going to get along with your new, the new one in, in your life? A lot of the time depending on again where you're going to adopt the animal from usually you do um, specific introductions anyway so for us when we wanted to have um, Zoe then with her at the SPCA we had about three introductions with Sizzle uh, just because he's a fussy little dog and uh, doesn't always like everybody and so for us it was making sure that they both would um, a get along you know they don't have to be best mates but will they live alongside each other mm. reasonably happy so get the introductions right take your time with it don't rush and you generally shouldn't have any issues so what was your experience with adopting um, to be honest, when we saw Zoe, I'd actually gone out looking for an older dog because I didn't specifically want another puppy and um, and I saw Zoe and pretty much that was it. I knew she was ours, you know, she was just this big fat teddy bear and as um, and soon as she saw us, it was kind of, you know, she just lent into us and, and wanted the hugs. Um, the process it's, itself took a few weeks because again for us we had another dog so it was making sure that they would get along. Um, Fortunately, they did because I would have been a bit annoyed with Sizzle if it didn't because I really wanted Zoe. That's the thing is sometimes like you'll be on the street at a cafe and your dog will just go ballistic at another dog for no reason. I mean, sometimes they just don't seem to like other dogs. Yeah, I mean, not you know, all dogs, but just a particular dog. Yeah, and for us as people, you know, we don't um, hug everyone oh. we meet in the street. That otherwise, is also very true. Yeah, otherwise it might be classed as being a bit weird um, or definitely too over friendly. So you know, um, again, it's you know there are people we meet in our life that we generally might tolerate in small doses mm. if we're totally honest about it and you know it's the same for our cats and dogs and um, some can live alongside anything and anyone in harmony and others it, you know they're very particular. What about with an older pet the potential of needing expensive vet care? Again you know uh, it really depends on the animals so depending on where they come from or what their history is do they already have a health condition uh, for some of these older pets they can be insured still your premiums might be slightly higher um, but they can be insured so I tend to recommend definitely do that um, otherwise you know again for us we were very fortunate with Zoe she generally didn't have any health conditions until the past 12 months mm. um, so again you know it's just, it's just being aware of what you're um, I guess signing up for really and what happens to these older pets if maybe you don't don't rescue them where do they end up again it really depends on the rescue you know so you know realistically we all like to think that they're definitely going to have a home um, but sadly, um, you know, euthanasia is an option. And even for some owners, if they are struggling to rehome their animals themselves, mm. then euthanasia is that is that option as well, which so is, is sad. 
So if I want to get a, an older animal, where should I be looking? Which are, which are good reputable services or agencies to go through? Um, again, you know, the, there's lots of different ones. SPCA, most people know. Mm. Even your local council, they tend to, you know, get these older dogs in. And usually local rescues. And certainly if you're a mad follower of dogs on, you know, Facebook, then um, you'll be probably already on, on numerous rescue uh, Facebook pages as well. So, um, yeah, just keep a lookout and, you know, give these old cats and dogs a, a loving home because you could be as lucky as I was and you know we got Zoe at 10 years old and she lived till she was nearly 18 oh, so awesome you know yeah. okay Kelly thank you so much thank you. and if you need training help with your dog have a chat with Kelly all her details are on her website kellymcfarlane.co.nz